Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very, very exciting day. In today's video, I have invited three of my close friends to come with me to Barnes & Noble and pick out a book for me to read. I feel like a lot of my videos, I'm always the one choosing. I am a mood reader, so I choose all of my own books because I know most likely I'm gonna like them if I'm the one choosing. However, I wanna go outside my comfort zone a little bit and pick some books or have other people pick my books for me that maybe I wouldn't have normally chosen if I was in Barnes and Noble. And I had this like whole thought process. I have three different friends who are all three different types of readers because I wanted to get a variety of types of books for me to read. So one, my friend Alex, he has been reading probably just as long as I have and we have a lot of similar tastes, especially in like the fantasy sci-fi genre. So I think that's gonna be very interesting. My other friend Jordan, she is new to reading. She just started reading like this past year, except for books that she was forced to read in high school. So she's not a big reader, but she's getting into it. So she's reading a lot of like the Colleen Hoover books right now and like getting into like the romance. I'm expecting romance from her. And then my other friend Kayla, she is not a reader at all. So she's kind of the wild card in this video. I have no clue what she's gonna pick for me. She could either do something that she thinks I'll like or she could pick something so far out of the box that I might end up hating. I don't really know. But she is the wild card in this video. So I'm, I have no clue what she's gonna end up doing. I don't really film in front of other people. So this should be interesting. Why am I nervous? This could end up being my favorite video of all time or could end up being my least favorite. I have no clue what's gonna happen today. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Why do I feel like I'm going on first date? That makes no sense. We're picking out books in Barnes & Noble. This is not that deep. <laughs> this is not that serious. Once again, going outside of my comfort zone. So we shall see what happens. But without further ado, let's get into the video. These are my friends. I'm Jordan. I'm Alex. Today we're going to Barnes & Noble. I also have a friend, Kayla. I will insert her here. She is meeting us at Barnes & Noble because she doesn't drink coffee. So see you soon, Kayla. But yes, they are going to be picking out some books for me. I tried to pick three friends who are different types of readers. So that way I get like a variety of genres, maybe. We'll see. Alex is a more advanced reader. I feel like we have a lot of the same tastes in books, especially when it comes to like fantasy, sci-fi, that kind of vibe. Jordan is a newbie reader. She's reading all of Colleen Hoover's books at the moment. Have you started November 9th yet? Nope, not yet. Nope, <laughs> she's getting there. <laughs> and Kayla, honestly, she's not a reader, so she's the wild card in this video. I think the cover that looks good. <laughs> yeah, she will judge the book by the cover 100%. I have a feeling though she's joked about picking out Harry Potter for me. She might. She I could really see her might. picking a book that I would never pick up ever, and I maybe <laughs> won't ever read it. I might get it today, and then it, it just sits on my shelf. Watch her pick a book that she's actually read. Oh, she's like, she, oh like, she got nervous about it and did she a whole bunch of research. She would exactly. shock me if she's like, oh, I've read a book. She's definitely done research. <laughs> this is the single book I've read in my lifetime, Liz. The single book I chose to read. The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Green eggs and ham, timeless classic. <laughs> or I could see her going to like the smutty books, <laughs> like picking out like Fifty Shades or something like that. We'll see, but you get a little sneak peek of what to expect in this video. Do you guys have anything you want to say? Are you excited? Are you nervous? No, it was hard to choose down out of the, all the books I wanted you to read. That's I think, fair. I think I've got it. I like as there's a lot of there's as a lot of books you've told me about, and you're like, you should you need to read this, and I'll say, oh yeah, I'll put it out as my list, and then. Still have not gotten around yeah, to somehow it Somehow my books just seem to always be at the back of the list. Oh. I don't really understand that. That's but not true. That's not no. true. I have yet to figure out what book I'm doing for you yet. You got a little bit of extra help because we went to Barnes and Noble to get you November 9th. Yeah. And I you were asking me asking me questions about certain authors, like, oh, who do you like? And stuff yeah. like that. So you kind of have a little bit of an edge compared to other people, but I feel like you're gonna end up with one of those that we talked about. Probably, if I can remember. <laughs> You'll remember the cover. You'll you remember the cover. Yeah. She's like, yeah. the, I remember that cover. That looks familiar. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go get bagels and then head to Barnes. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm Kaylee and I'm the non-reader. How are you feeling about today? Um, you know, don't really have a plan. I might just pick a random book out right away. Maybe. Are you are you gonna find a book that I'm uncomfortable with? Or are you gonna find one you think I'm actually gonna no. enjoy? No, I think you'll enjoy it. You're more of a fictional, like dystopian type girl. So like, that's what I'm gonna go for today. This should be interesting. <laughs> Remember you talking about those? And they don't have it. Big sad. 
Yeah. 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 It's okay. Like the <laughs> oh my gosh. How's it going? Are we finding some contenders? I can't tell which one's first. There is even the cover. Interesting. Are you reading the back or are you just looking into the cover? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, it's Christina Lauren. I like her. You just read that was a hockey love story. I did just read a hockey romance. I've read those. You know me so well. Love story. And you've read some of hers. I have. You've read this one? Yes. Okay, that one. Yes. <laughs> the only friend who follows my videos. <laughs> my non-reader friend. My non-reader friend who follows <laughs> You picked one. Ah! Are you lost? Looking for anything. I don't know. They don't have the copy of it. Oh, you asked about the first one? That's sad. They didn't have your backup? Then I guess you just have to browse. Oh, darn. Darn it, you have to browse Barnes & Noble. <laughs> you think you found the book? Yeah. Oh. It's a thriller mystery type. Ooh, girl okay. Save the world, apparently. Love that. I just want to browse. I want to browse so bad. I'm seeing so many good books that I just want to pick up, but I have to be the camera woman. Okay, so Kayla, what did you choose for me? I got the book, The Passage. Okay. And why did you choose The Passage? Well, I know you're into like kind of these apocalyptic books okay. and like kind of a mystery thriller type person. Mm -hmm. Not meaning that you don't like other books, but I know you kind of like this is what you go to kind of. Yeah. So yeah, that's why I got it. That's fair. And what is it about? It's about this kid named Amy. Her mother abandoned her when she was six and she's being pursued by the government in this oh. apocalyptic proportions. An agent was sent down to kind of go get her. She has to go through a long journey because she has a power to save the world. Oh, okay. Interesting. So she's got what, powers. I don't know what powers she don't has. Don't know what that means, but it sounds fun. <laughs> it does. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Okay. So Jordan, mm -hmm. what book did you choose for me? I picked Beautiful Bastards. <laughs> what a title. Right? <laughs> and well, why did you choose it? I really liked the cover. Okay. I thought yeah. it was kind of like edgy and cool. Mm -hmm. And then the back of it, when I was reading it, it like a spicy romance between a boss and a assistant. Ooh. So definitely intriguing. I feel like you're gonna like it. Yes. I have read quite a few books like that, so yeah. I think I'll I'll probably enjoy it. And it's Christine Warren. You know? I have never read her before, but yeah. once I read this It makes you want it to. It makes me want to read this. And so hopefully you're gonna read it first and then you're gonna let me know. <laughs> I'll give you my honest thoughts right. and then it'll determine whether or not I you go buy it. I think you'll like it. I think I I'll think like this it. It's more of a me book though, but okay. spicy edgy. It's spicy edgy. Love that. Thank you. You're I'm excited. <laughs> Alex, what did you choose? for me. I got Project Hail Mary. Solid uh, choice. One, because I don't think it's a book that you would normally go out and buy, and two, because it's going to be a movie in two years if it stays on track. So mm -hmm. And like, what is it about? Give us just like a brief... Uh, man wakes up in space with no idea how he got there. Okay. So he's slowly trying to figure out how he got there and why he's there. I like that. That sounds very interesting, actually. It's, I actually didn't know what it was about, but I've heard good things about it. It makes me want to read it. You get to like figure out alongside the main character. You don't ever get clued in on anything from... You don't get background information. It's just you're learning with him. That's cool. Five stars. Five stars. Okay. So it better live up to the hype. It should. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. This is fun. <laughs> thanks for choosing books for me that I would not normally choose. Yay. Well done. Yay. Well done. So it is later on and I am editing this video from today. And I just wanted to say a few things. I had so much fun today. This was, honestly, I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while now where I was able to incorporate some of my friends or just other people in my video. Cause I think it gets very boring after a while when it's just me in these videos. And I was very nervous going into it just because I don't film in front of other people usually, but it was so much fun. I really enjoyed getting to bring my friends to Barnes and Noble and Barnes and Noble is my happy place. So I am totally, happy bringing anyone in there. I'm just so thankful for my friends. I have the best friends ever and they all did such a good job. All three books that my friends picked out maybe wouldn't have picked on my own, which is kind of the point of this. I wanted some different varieties of books that I might not have normally been drawn to in Barnes & Noble, but I'm glad that they did because some of them are ones that I've definitely thought about buying in the past and just have never pulled the trigger. There was one or two that are brand new that I've never heard of and sound really interesting. Thank you so much to my friends once again for being 
being a part of this video. Hopefully it wasn't too weird for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm hoping to do more videos like this where I can incorporate other people in my life. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Happy reading, bye. I will clip out all of the awkward parts, okay? I, go I, want, I want you to keep in mind the most awkward parts. I want to be like a psychopath. Okay. <laughs> 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 people are like, why are you friends with these people? This is, this is what you do? <laughs> this based on your timeline? You're like I was just gonna chug my drink. You would know if you watched my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna find a book that's like super smutty. I literally predicted this. I was like, she's gonna find something like 50 shades. Gotta get my lie detector out while I'm interrogating you. You guys did such a good job.